Hi everyone, just wanted to show off the uh, 1973 CZ250. Uh, my dad uh, actually bought this brand new uh, in California and uh, he bought it in a crate. I remember uh, uh, sliding it on the back of the truck uh, when we were bringing it home and uh, he then assembled it and uh, went off racing. So. Uh, this has been in storage for a very long time. Uh, I've worked on it and ridden it a lot, or I shouldn't say a lot, uh, but I did ride it uh, back in the day. I was also riding Honda CRs and Yamaha YZs and Suzuki RMs, but anyway, uh, really enjoyed riding the CZ250. Uh, what I thought I'd show today is uh, all the originality uh, on the motorcycle there are really kind of three things uh, that are not original and I'll uh, show what those are in, uh, uh, in the video because this is probably one of the closer CZs to original form than most that are out there so uh, let's we'll start with uh, some of the things that are uh, original uh, that most CZs don't have uh, which would start off with uh, the Jikov carburetor. This is the Jikov carburetor. We'll go to the other side. Uh, most of these were replaced either when they were originally shipped here to the U.S. Uh, or after uh, someone would buy one. And um, uh, so this is the original. Uh, interesting, so you don't see a choke lever. Uh, what you do have is this button, which you actually push down, uh, which uh, fills the bowl, and you wait until the bowl fills up and then starts spilling over. And at that point, you are uh, uh, all choked up. So that is the choke system on the uh, Jikovs. And uh, my father, opted not to change out to the McCuny. And the reason why is at the time, there was a uh, dirt bike test that actually compared uh, both carburetors. And apparently the Jikov actually had a little bit more horsepower on the highest end of the torque curve, was not much more, but it was a little bit more. So he opted just to kind of leave it as is. Uh, you'll also see the petcocks, both left and right hand side. These are the original Jikovs. Uh, it's possible those were actually replaced uh, at some point. I don't know, but they certainly are the... Uh, I don't remember having to replace them, but I suspect we probably had to at some point. Um, but anyway, uh, so those are them. Obviously, uh, this filter was not original uh, when we uh, originally bought the bike. Uh, so that's a, a non-original. Going to the gear shift, you'll see that this is a CZ gear shift, but the uh, it did not come with a folding gear shift. So looks like the rubber is giving up here. But uh, uh, at any rate, so uh, but it is a, uh, a CZ folding gear shift. Uh, most everyone has been re replaced this with a folder. Uh, this originally had uh, the typical hard. Uh, gear shifter. Uh, Dad actually laid the motorcycle down probably about the same time we put the big dent in the uh, uh, in the exhaust. Uh, and if I remember correctly, uh, it got jammed up into the motorcycle and it was really difficult to get home that day. And it opted to uh, replace it with the with the folding type. Uh, so anyway, as we continue around the bike, you'll see that the has a big red plastic fender that is not original uh, what came with the CZs was actually this fiberglass this is a fiberglass uh, with a red stripe the motor cross Fox was not on the motorcycle I put that on uh, when I was a kid and uh, uh, but at any rate the fender uh, is that is the original fender that came on the CZs, uh, not necessarily this, this big red one that's on there now. The front tire uh, and tube were replaced. 
Uh, I can't remember what happened, uh, but Dad did end up having to replace it. Uh, as you take a look, looks like it had virtually no wear on it after uh, it was put on. But anyway, that is not an original tire. However, the rears, uh, or the rear, uh, is an original Barum uh, tire, which did come with the motorcycle. Uh, and talking to Dad, we both know that this is the original uh, tire that came on the motorcycle. And you can see that it was a 4.25-18, so it's an 18-inch rim. Interesting, uh, if you look at the big wide shoulder on the tire, uh, uh, kind of a cheater tire, I would say, that, uh, um, you know, although it may have been a 425 fitting the uh, rim itself, uh, boy, was it significantly wider on both left and right hand sides. Um, but anyway, it was a 4.25, 18, uh, not for highway use. There is the big Barum symbol. And go around. And of course, Barum motocross. And manufacturing number at that time. As I understand it, I think that uh, Barum as a tire company is still alive. I don't know that they make motorcycle tires any longer. Uh, and I believe that Continental Tire Company actually bought Barum. So uh, if I understood that correctly, I believe that they still make car, truck, and, and industrial tires. But at any rate, not certain that they still make motorcycle tires. The rear shocks are, in fact, original. Um, these are really a, uh, a bluish design, which is rotted away. Uh, if I remember correctly, it says Trial Special. Uh, on, on both sides, so it was a black sticker there. This one seems to be not puking out oil on the other side. Uh, this one definitely has been leaking oil everywhere, so it's I'm certain shot, but uh, at any rate, that was the trial special as well. Uh, this is the original uh, exhaust that was on the bike. Again, uh, great dent so it had a little bit of uh, war usage uh, so to speak on the uh, uh, the rear uh, this had a it's hard to see but uh, you can see it, the lines where uh, the red piece of tape used to be and you can see the red tape used to come all the way to this point if you peel back the CZ sticker you can see the red tape there so it basically started down here, went up to about that point. And it's the same size red tape that was on the fiberglass fender. So that's what that uh, kind of looked like. This is the, in fact the original seat. Most people have gone with a higher cushion that brings you up to uh, tank level or maybe a little bit higher. Uh, but this is definitely uh, the original. Amazing that uh, here is 2023, and this is a 1973 uh, motorcycle. It's amazing uh, how well this is kind of uh, held together. So, and obviously, our original tank uh, with the racing stripe down the center, handlebars, front shocks uh, that have puked out all of their fluids, all the seals are shot there. And obviously, we've replaced some of the uh, uh, throttle brake cab cables and that sort of stuff over time uh, as we were riding the bike. So at any rate, that kind of gives a, uh, a pretty good look as to what the CZ, again, uh, the handlebars, grips, uh, all original. Can't remember if we replaced either of the handles. Um, there's a high level of probability that we did at one point in time. Uh, actually looks like this is a bit discolored, but I, I don't can't, I just don't remember uh, between dad and I whether we uh, ended up having to replace either clutch or uh, or front brake 
And then the, I guess the last thing uh, I need to figure out is that uh, obviously we're gonna go ahead and get this thing back up and running again. One of the things that I bought several years ago was uh, electronic ignition. And I bought this all from, uh, this is for the CZ250, yes. There we go. Uh, bought this originally from uh, Burtis CZ in, in California. So, and it was tested in 2002, so it's 20 some years ago since it's been tested. Uh, I suspect, I don't think that I bought it 20 years ago, but uh, you know what, I probably did. Uh, so, just don't recall. Seems like yesterday, I guess. But at any rate, so that is uh, the CZ250. Uh, again, mostly uh, in original form. Oh, one thing that uh, I did forget to mention, the CZs came set up with uh, two spark plugs, hard to see, uh, two spark plug wires, coils, the whole nine yards. Um, this was converted to a single spark, uh, which I think almost everyone has done. Uh, it's, it's unusual to see uh, any CZs that basically still operate with two spark plugs, but uh, uh, so that was one of the things that was changed uh, very early on. Uh, that would work was, so this motorcycle was purchased in California when we lived in California. Dad was in the Navy. So uh, we came across to the East Coast and a company, a motorcycle shop called The Dirt Shop in the Bethesda, Maryland area uh, on Route 1 was uh, a CZ dealer and they're the ones that did the conversion here uh, on this motorcycle and uh, so and this guy is uh, uh, will be going to uh, another CZ dealer here in 2023 uh, which is a CZ Jawa in Bell, Florida uh, they were original CZ dealer and are still uh, working on uh, CZs uh, today. So it might be, they might be the last operational, uh, true operational uh, CZ dealer that's, that's still working on them. I think that Burtis uh, in California is, uh, I know he's not working off of his website anymore. They basically say if you need something, send him a letter. I don't know whether or not he's still responding or not. Um, so uh, so he, if, if he's still working on CZs, he would be one of the two in the country that I'm aware of. Uh, but there's really not many left. But anyway, I hope you enjoy. If you have any thoughts or comments, please put them below. Um, Thoughts are is to get it up and running. I, I don't know that I want to go 100% back original, uh, but on one hand, on the other hand, I'm not certain I want to, you know, whether to change out the carburetor from a Jikoff to a Makuni or whatever, I, I, I don't know. So we'll give that some thought. Um, but anyway, any thoughts or comments, uh, please put them below. Thanks so much.